Well, Michael Smith's family and other advocates are now calling on Governor Stitt to look at new information, saying it's key evidence and could even help Smith avoid the death penalty. We're asking the governor, have a heart. Please understand that this is a human's life that you're taking. A plea to save the life of Michael Dwayne Smith, a man set to be put to death in less than one week. Smith was convicted of killing two people in two separate incidents in 2002. Attorney General Gettner Drummond called Smith a ruthless killer who has confessed to his crimes on multiple occasions. Now, after multiple failed attempts to avoid the death penalty, a private investigator says there's new evidence in the case. There's a whole slew of, 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 of uh, problems with this case uh, that have not been uh, recognized or properly examined. The evidence, this affidavit, the investigator says was signed by a state witness who testified during trial. The witness saying she was coerced into her testimony. They saying he's confessed to this crime. So if y'all had so much of a solid confession, why do you have to coerce witnesses to, to get, get your case, get your conviction? You know? Now Smith's family is asking for one more chance for the case to be heard. I'm begging. I don't know about it. I'm begging you. Now Smith is set to be executed in McAllister at the state penitentiary next Thursday, April 4th. Governor Stitt will have the final say on if that execution could be put on pause. Reporting live at the Capitol, Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News.